In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Walk Mary's Way O Mary, I long to walk with you along the way to Calvary, where so many times you retrace with your steps the blood-stained path where your beloved Son walked. I long to consider with you the sufferings that Jesus bore for my sins. Let my heart be filled with the same sentiments of love and compassion that fill your own heart. Obtain for me the grace of conversion to a holier, more Christian life. Help me accept the trials and sufferings of life in expiation for my sins and for the conversion of sinners. At the cross her station keeping, stood the mournful mother weeping, close to Jesus to the last. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. O Mary, what anguish rent your heart of a mother when you heard the cries of hate of the Jews as they demanded the death of your son. Because my innocent Jesus willed to be condemned to death in order to save me from hell. Do not let me, O Mary, remain indifferent to such sufferings, endured for my sake. Grant that I may worthily share with you in the sufferings of Jesus. May the sight of his great humility heal me of my pride and make me weep for my infidelities so that I may not stand condemned before the tribunal of God, the sovereign judge. Through her heart, his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing now at length, the sword has passed. Second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. O oh Mary, the cross that weighed so heavily on Jesus' shoulders also weighed down on your maternal heart. You are intimately united to your son in his suffering for the good of my soul. You bore, you bore with him the cross of my sin, and thus became the co repin tricks. Give me the courage to take up my own cross, and to conquer myself day by day, and to bear with love the, fault, the faults of those who surround me. Give me your love, so that I may go ahead at any cost, whenever it is a question of serving and pleasing you. Oh, how sad and sore distress, was that mother highly blessed, of the soul begotten one. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. O oh Mary, how heavy was the burden of the cross of Jesus. Under the blows of his execution as he fell to the ground and the crowns of thorns embedded itself in, if, ever deeper in his head. The sight went your loving heart. You accepted his, this torment together with your son in expectation for my pride and reckless the causes of all my falls into sin. I promise to make it up to you by my life. O oh, sorrowful mother, made a remembrance of my cowardly weakness of in my heart and keep me proudly humble. Christ above in torment hangs. She beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious son. The fourth station, Jesus meets his holy mother. We adore you, O Christ, we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. 
Oh, Mary, I can never fully understand how deeply your heart was smitten as at the sight of your son covered with blood, exhausted, shoved along, and beaten with the whips. You wanted to be there to uphold him. With, with his mother's presence, when a child suffers its greatest consolation, is to have its mother near. O oh, oh Holy Mary, if only the hearts of all the saint of all the saints could be held in my breast to console your yours for all its anguish and pain. Endured for my salvation, remember Oh, my mother, that I am your child, come strengthen me in the, in the difficult times of trial and temptation. When my soul takes leave of this life, come to receive me and present me to Jesus. May my great hope in your direct, in your direct me along with the way to eternal light, to the eternal light. Is there one who would not be whelmed in misery so deep? Christ, dear mother, to be home. The fifth station, the siren helps Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. O oh Mary, as I consider the generosity of the Cyrenian, who relieved your son by helping him carry the cross, I beg you to help me accept my share of the sufferings that associate me to his passion and help fulfill his sufferings. O oh Queen of Martyrs, who more than any other refreshed our sufferings, Savior, in his thirst of consolation, make my heart more generous in accepting all the sufferings of life. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain, in that mother's pain untold? The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed, have redeemed the world. O oh Mary, what a consolation for you was the courageous gesture that of that the woman who wiped the face of your son, all covered with spittle, blood, and sweat. I want to console you in the same way by purifying my soul made in the image of God from every stain of sin. O oh, my queen, help me overcome my weaknesses. Obtain for me perfect purity of the heart, body, and spirit in order to restore once and all my soul in the image of Jesus and all its beauty. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child all with bloody scourges rent. The seventh station, Jesus follows the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed you the world. O oh Mary, only you could fully penetrate the mystery of sorrow that pierced the heart of your son in the second fall under the way of the cross. It was the incalculable uh, number of our own falls into sin that overwhelmed him and made him fall again. I am for you, O oh Mary, by your tears and the sacred love for creatures, 
correct me of my selfishness and pride and grant me the strength to flee from all occasions of danger. For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation till his spirit forth he sent. The eighth station, Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. O Mary, grant that I may understand the kindness of the heart of Jesus and its tender compassion on our miseries. He forgets his own atrocious torments and consoles those pious women in their desolation. With you, beloved mother, I want to find relief from all my bitterness and consolation for all my sorrows in the heart of Jesus. However, since there is no such consolation unless I begin by weeping for my sins, which are the cause of, my, of all my sufferings, let one of your tears of Mary fall on my heart to soften it, impress upon it the wounds of Jesus and the desire for a true and sincere repentance. O oh, sweet mother, fount of love, Touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with yours accord. The ninth station. Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. O oh Mary, your, be your beloved, our beloved Savior accepts yet a third fall, even crueler than the others. The whips redouble and their outrageous blows. All this is to ex expiate the love of pleasure that there are so many souls into hell. Our Heavenly Mother, whose heart was pierced so many times after the ascension of Jesus, as you repeated your station to the cross and came to this one, help me make reparation for all the sins of sensuality of which I'm guilty. Make me feel as you have felt. Make my soul to glow and melt with the love of Christ, my Lord. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, you have been the world. O oh Mary, as I watch the humiliating and cruel stripping of your son, and perceive the blood that covers his whole body. I think of the shuddering that you went through caused by your own atrocious suffering at the sight. Oh, mother, forgive me all the sorrows that my imprudence and my vanity have so often caused you. Deign to garb my soul once again with the modesty and simplicity of the angels so that I may always inspire around me both dignity and respect. Holy Mother, pierce me through. In my heart each wound renew of my Savior crucified. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. O Mary, the repeated blows that nailed the hands and the feet of your son to the cross echoes painfully in your heart. All the wounds inflicted on the body of the Savior were impressed cruelly on your soul. You suffered with such intensity as to make each one of his pains your own. I am ashamed to think that I caused you to suffer such a martyrdom by my sins and my unfaithfulness to grace. O oh Mary, in your hands I want to renew the promises of my baptism. I want to be nailed together with your son to the sacrifices of my duty in life so that I may never hinder his great promise from being fulfilled in me. 
When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all things to myself. Let me share with you his pain, who for all your sins was slain, who for me in torments died. The Twelfth Station. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. O Mary, you... You, you were there at the foot of the cross on which Jesus was dying, and the sorrow in, in your heart was immense like the sea. I can never sympathize enough with, with the aff affliction of your heart. I can never fully honor you for the great love you showed for me. It is why I offer you Jesus' own, uh, Jesus's own divine compassion. He, he alone knew the burden and the greatness of your, of your suffering. O Queen of, of Mars, it was, it, was at, it was at this moment that your divine son willed you to become the mother of all men. As he, as he told St. John, there is your mother, despite my own unworthiness. I take refuge in your, in your motherly love. I put myself in your hands and abandon myself entirely to you. Dispose of me according to your good pleasure and that of your divine son. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me all the days that I may live. The 13th station, Jesus is taken down from the cross and given to his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. O Mary, as you receive the sacred body of your child in your arms, now a corpse covered with wounds, you recall the attentions and caresses you showed on him with so much love in Nazareth, and your heart was pierced with a thousand needles of pain. Since it was I, by my sins, who caused his death and your suffering, I ask you to forgive all my ingratitude, and I implore you to obtain for me a perfect conversion. I want to be placed with Jesus in your arms. By his bleeding wounds, heal the wounds of my soul, and with his divine blood, wash me of all my stains. By the cross with you to stay, there with you to weep and pray is all I ask of you to give. The 14th station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. O oh Mary, before your sacrifice could be complete, it was necessary that the beloved body of Jesus should disappear from your sight behind the stone that covered his tomb. In the silence of your heart, you, you guard the secret of a broken heart and re-enter Jerusalem with John, now your son. As I come to the end of this way of the cross with you, grant that I may bear in my heart the remembrance of all the sufferings. Engrave on my soul the wounds of our Savior, and raise his cross in my heart. May the remembrance of all the anguish of the Calvary keep my faithful, and no matter what the cost in all my trials and temptations. Virgin of all virgins blessed, listen to my fond request. Let me share your grief divine. For the intentions of the Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, your passion and death is a sacrifice that unites earth and heaven and reconciles all people to you. May we who have faithfully reflected on these mysteries follow in your steps and so come to share your glory in heaven, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.